Okay, you too. <laughs> okay, as you can see, I'm producing steam, so um, I went a bit far with it. I uh, switched it off, so we have to wait now for things to um, calm down somewhat. <laughs> well, I tell you what, there's lots of kilowatts there. And uh, I'm just going to stand well back. Now, I did this for the crack, as we say in Ireland. I mean, I did it just for the fun of it. And uh, so there we go. One waste oil burner <laughs> producing lots of steam. Um, and I let too much in. I kind of flooded the unit. Um, I'm just going to stand back here a bit and let um, you know physics and nature and a whole lot take its course. But there you go. She's producing plenty of steam. Uh, there's 300 liters of very hot water in that cylinder now. I don't know what that is in gallons. I'll, I'll figure it out later. And uh, I over, you know, I opened up the the, uh, the gate valve and I just said, okay, let it rip. There you go. <laughs> you wouldn't want this in your house. It's okay, it's just a shed here, but... Um, yeah, look, sauna. Maybe I'll put that in the title. <laughs> okay, so the battery decided to run out just as I was... Um, having a bit of fun with steam here. Um, okay, so you can see the top of the boiler there is 97, 98 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, 171, 200, 203, 7, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, it had to have been over 100 degrees or, you know, 212 to make steam. In fact, it's still very hot um, there. You can see the temperature. Uh, I don't want to be standing under under that. Although it should be cold. So you can see it's a, uh, you know, there's no saying that that scale on that, that analog scale is accurate, but it's, you know, just under 90 degrees. And um, so at that point of the cylinder or hot water storage tank, it's 164, which in my money is about 80. Okay, higher up in the cylinder. Uh, it's hard to get a reading because it's reflective. It doesn't like shiny stuff. Okay, return pipe. Let's do it there. Okay, 74. So, that's why there's an expansion tank on it. And that's why it's open vented. Because if I do make steam, I don't make any pressure. It just blows out of there. Uh, the, the hot water storage tank is, you can see that hole here. This guy, that's open into the tank as is here. This is open, follow it out, follow it out and that's it, it's open. So, um, open vented. Uh, wasn't allowed to build up pressure and uh, but just the same, it made a big big mess. Now I did it on purpose, I was going to drive it um, hard anyway just to see if I could get it to bubble but uh, I did a bit more than I anticipated but it doesn't matter. As I said, <coughs> this is just a shed but if <laughs> you know depending on where some of you guys are planning on putting this thing uh, it could be very messy so you know if you were going to kind of connect this to anything uh, you know stick it in a box stick it in a shed or something away from your house um, and uh, you know you can heat your shed and you know send two pipes into the house from here uh, again Big problem, you know, no controls on the system. Uh, if it does overrun, it'll make steam, it'll get messy like it did. I'm not sure how that will show up on the video, but yeah. So plenty of kilowatts. I don't know, it must be making in excess of 20 kilowatts anyway. It's a 20 kilowatt boiler. And um, I don't know what the, you know, the absorption rate of the um, hot water storage cylinder. It's 300 litres anyway. Um, must be, I don't know, 100 gallons. Maybe less. Anyway, whatever. Um, 70 gallons probably. US gallons and um, Imperial gallons are different as well. Okay, so that's, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for, uh, for sticking with it. Thanks for all the views. And, uh, you know, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks again. Bye-bye.